The solar system is the gravitationally bound system of the Sun and the objects that orbit it. It formed about 4.6 billion years ago when a dense region of a molecular cloud collapsed, forming the Sun and a protoplanetary disk. The Sun is a typical star that maintains a balanced equilibrium by the fusion of hydrogen into helium at its core, releasing this energy from its outer photosphere. Astronomers classify it as a G-type main-sequence star. The largest objects that orbit the Sun are the eight planets. In order from the Sun, they are four terrestrial planets Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars, two gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, and two ice giants Uranus and Neptune. All terrestrial planets have solid surfaces. Inversely, all giant planets do not have a definite surface, as they are mainly composed of gases and liquids. Over 99.86% of the solar system's mass is in the Sun and nearly 90% of the remaining mass is in Jupiter and Saturn. There is a strong consensus among astronomers that the solar system has at least nine dwarf planets, Ceres, Orcus, Pluto, Haumea, Quaor, Makemake, Gonggong, Eris, and Sedna. There are a vast number of small solar system bodies, such as asteroids, comets, centaurs, meteoroids, and interplanetary dust clouds. Some of these bodies are in the asteroid belt between Mars's and Jupiter's orbit and the Kuiper belt just outside Neptune's orbit. Six planets, seven dwarf planets, and other bodies have orbiting natural satellites, which are commonly called moons. The solar system is constantly flooded by the sun's charged particles, the solar wind, forming the heliosphere. Around 75 to 90 astronomical units from the sun, the solar wind is halted, resulting in the heliopause. This is the boundary of the solar system to interstellar space. The outermost region of the solar system is the theorized Oort cloud, the source for long-period comets, extending to a radius of 2,000-200,000 astronomical units. The closest star to the solar system, Proxima Centauri, is 4.25 light-years 269,000 astronomical units away. Both stars belong to the Milky Way galaxy. The Sun is the star at the center of the solar system. It is a massive, nearly perfect sphere of hot plasma, heated to incandescence by nuclear fusion reactions in its core, radiating the energy from its surface mainly as visible light and infrared radiation with 10% of ultraviolet energies. It is by far the most important source of energy for life on Earth. The Sun has been an object of veneration in many cultures. It has been a central subject for astronomical research since antiquity. The Sun orbits the galactic center at a distance of 24,000 to 28,000 light years. From Earth, it is one astronomical unit, 1.496 times 108 kilometers, or about 8 light minutes away. Its diameter is about 1,391,400 kilometers, 864,600 miles, 109 times that of Earth. Its mass is about 330,000 times that of Earth, making up about 99.86% of the total mass of the solar system. Roughly three quarters of the Sun's mass consists of hydrogen, approximately 73%, the rest is mostly helium, approximately 25%, with much smaller quantities of heavier elements, including oxygen, carbon, neon, and iron. The Sun is a G-type main-sequence star, G2V, informally called a yellow dwarf, though its light is actually white. It formed approximately 4.6 billion years ago from the gravitational collapse of matter within a region of a large molecular cloud. Most of this matter gathered in the center, whereas the rest flattened into an orbiting disk that became the solar system. The central mass became so hot and dense that it eventually initiated nuclear fusion in its core. Every second, the Sun's core fuses about 600 billion kilograms kilogram, of hydrogen into helium and converts 4 billion kilogram of matter into energy. About 4 to 7 billion years from now, when hydrogen fusion in the Sun's core diminishes to the point where the Sun is no longer in hydrostatic equilibrium, its core will undergo a marked increase in density and temperature which will cause its outer layers to expand, eventually transforming the Sun into a red giant. This process will make the Sun large enough to render Earth uninhabitable approximately 5 billion years from the present. After the red giant phase, models suggest the Sun will shed its outer layers and become a dense type of cooling star, a white dwarf, and no longer produce energy by fusion, but will still glow and give off heat from its previous fusion for perhaps trillions of years. After that, it is theorized to become a super-dense black dwarf, giving off negligible energy.
Mercury is the first planet from the Sun and the smallest in the solar system. In English, it is named after the ancient Roman god Mercurius, Mercury, god of commerce and communication, and the messenger of the gods. Mercury is classified as a terrestrial planet, with roughly the same surface gravity as Mars. The surface of Mercury is heavily cratered, as a result of countless impact events that have accumulated over billions of years. Its largest crater, Caloris Planitia, has a diameter of 1,550 kilometers, 960 miles, which is about one-third the diameter of the planet, 4,880 kilometers or 3,030 miles. Similarly to the Earth's moon, Mercury's surface displays an expansive roof system generated from thrust faults and bright ray systems formed by impact event remnants. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only astronomical object known to harbor life. This is enabled by Earth being an ocean world, the only one in the solar system sustaining liquid surface water. Almost all of Earth's water is contained in its global ocean, covering 70.8% of Earth's crust. The remaining 29.2% of Earth's crust is land, most of which is located in the form of continental landmasses within Earth's land hemisphere. Most of Earth's land is at least somewhat humid and covered by vegetation, while large sheets of ice at Earth's polar deserts retain more water than Earth's groundwater, lakes, rivers, and atmospheric water combined. Earth's crust consists of slowly moving tectonic plates, which interact to produce mountain ranges, volcanoes, and earthquakes. Earth has a liquid outer core that generates a magnetosphere capable of deflecting most of the destructive solar winds and cosmic radiation. Earth has a dynamic atmosphere, which sustains Earth's surface conditions and protects it from most meteoroids and UV light at entry. It has a composition of primarily nitrogen and oxygen. Water vapor is widely present in the atmosphere, forming clouds that cover most of the planet. The water vapor acts as a greenhouse gas and, together with other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, particularly carbon dioxide, CO2 creates the conditions for both liquid surface water and water vapor to persist via the capturing of energy from the sun's light. This process maintains the current average surface temperature of 14.76 degrees Celsius, 58.57 degrees Fahrenheit, at which water is liquid under normal atmospheric pressure. Differences in the amount of captured energy between geographic regions, as with the equatorial region receiving more sunlight than the polar regions drive atmospheric and ocean currents, producing a global climate system with different climate regions, and a range of weather phenomena such as precipitation, allowing components such as nitrogen to cycle. Earth is rounded into an ellipsoid with a circumference of about 40,000 kilometers. It is the densest planet in the solar system. Of the four rocky planets, it is the largest and most massive. Earth is about eight light minutes away from the Sun and orbits it, taking a year about 365.25 days to complete one revolution. Earth rotates around its own axis in slightly less than a day, in about 23 hours and 56 minutes. Earth's axis of rotation is tilted with respect to the perpendicular to its orbital plane around the Sun, producing seasons. Earth is orbited by one permanent natural satellite, the Moon, which orbits Earth at 384,400 kilometers, 1.28 light seconds, and is roughly a quarter as wide as Earth. The Moon's gravity helps stabilize Earth's axis, causes tides and gradually slows Earth's rotation. Tidal locking has made the Moon always face Earth with the same side. Earth, like most other bodies in the solar system, formed 4.5 billion years ago from gas and dust in the early solar system. During the first billion years of Earth's history, the ocean formed and then life developed within it. Life spread globally and has been altering Earth's atmosphere and surface, leading to the Great Oxidation event 2 billion years ago. 
Humans emerged 300,000 years ago in Africa and have spread across every continent on Earth. Humans depend on Earth's biosphere and natural resources for their survival, but have increasingly impacted the planet's environment. Humanity's current impact on Earth's climate and biosphere is unsustainable, threatening the livelihood of humans and many other forms of life, and causing widespread extinctions. Thank you.